Hey everyone, Eva Thompson here. Welcome back to another video or if you're listening to this on Spotify or on Apple Podcasts, then welcome back as well. Today I want to talk to you about feeling like if you let go of RJ and you no longer allow your partner's past to bother you, you're in some way allowing them to get away with it or you're settling for less or you're accepting what they did even though you might not agree with it. Not everyone feels this way when it comes to retroactive jealousy, but a good amount of people do, from what I've noticed, especially men. And the reason I want to talk about this today is because I had a call the other day with a man that was part of the red pill community for a long time, and he said that it actually did help him. It helped him with personal growth, you know, financially, physically he became fitter he wanted to become that i think what they call high value man and it was difficult for him to accept his partner's past because based on this community or this philosophy if you're a woman and you've had a promiscuous past then you are not worthy of a high value man and i see this word thrown around the internet a lot high value woman high value man and the biggest thing that i sort of i'm confused with or i disagree with is you're a high value man if you take care of yourself your physical health and you are wealthy and you're a provider from what I understand at least, I haven't looked into it too much, so if you want to educate me in the comments, you can. But from what I understand, that is what is considered a high value man. And a high value woman is a woman that is, well, this person that I was talking to at least said that it's if you're pure and youthful and you haven't had a promiscuous past. Now, the biggest problem with this is that if you're a man, you can become a high value man by working on yourself. But if you're a woman and you've been brought up a certain way, thinking that, maybe casual dating around is, is normal or you have made mistakes and maybe you've regretted them, maybe you haven't. But just say you've had casual relationships in the past. Now going forward, based on this philosophy, there is no coming back from it. You cannot be a high value woman because you've already had this past and nothing you do will make up for that. But if you're a man, you can put in the work and become that high value man. Again, what that means based on whose philosophy, there are a lot of things on the internet, there are a lot of things in different communities, in different religions, about what it means to be a good woman or a good man or a high value woman, a high value man. But this is just the biggest thing that stood out to me as well. Okay, if you're a man, you can work hard and you can fix it. But if you're a woman and you've already had made mistakes in the past, either because you thought that was normal or because you didn't know that you deserved better or you accepted certain behavior because it, you just didn't know or you thought that was normal again, then there's no coming back from it. You're just a, not a high value woman and you never will be. And I think that that's a bit problematic. Again, I haven't looked into these communities very much. So if you want to educate me more in the comments, you can just please obviously be respectful because I know sometimes people can get quite aggressive when it comes to this kind of thing. When it comes to retroactive jealousy, I really think it's important to question whether or not letting go of RJ means that you're accepting less means that they're getting away with it. First of all, ask yourself, who are you to try to punish your partner? Is that your job? Do you need to make that your job? You're responsible for your mistakes and your past and they're responsible for their past. You don't have to make this your responsibility to punish them for what they did if you don't agree with it, first of all. Second of all, in most cases, the RJ sufferer is with a partner that respects them and loves them and is a great partner to them. There is no other issue in the relationship other than the RJ. So they actually, in reality, have a great partner by their side. But in their mind, they think that because of their past, they are now not valuable. 
another thing comes up a lot where, well, if my partner has been left a lot in the past by other people, then am I just second best? Why did other people not value my partner? Why should I value them? And that's a question that you should ask yourself because your partner was not the right partner for other people and therefore it did not work out. Qualities that they have, other people may not have appreciated, just like qualities that you have may not have been appreciated in your past by other people. So I think it's a, it's a shame to ruin a relationship and leave someone that is great for you just because of their past. You might think that if you get into a relationship with someone that doesn't have a past, everything will be okay. But there is no guarantee that you will have chemistry, a lot in common, and that that relationship is going to be a good relationship just because the person doesn't have a past. I've seen this happen where I had a client once, he was with someone that he was in love with, he, they had chemistry, they really wanted to be together, but she had a past. And he also had the option to be with, I think, one or two other women that wanted to be with him and they didn't have a past, but he didn't really feel much for these people. So it's all well and good leaving the relationship for someone that doesn't have a past, but there's no guarantee that that's going to work out and that you're going to have any chemistry with them or that it's going to be, like I said before, a good relationship. So like this person said, with specifically the Red Pill community, it helped them. Certain values and beliefs helped them become a better version of themselves and that's fine, but it's okay to question values going forward just because something worked for you in the past doesn't mean that you have to it's sort of like take what resonates with you from different communities different religions different different values different beliefs takes take what works for you and leave what doesn't it's okay to do that and most importantly it's okay to trust your own judgment because arch sufferers will do this. They'll go on the internet, they'll go in different communities, they'll ask, what does it mean if my partner did this? And strangers are now telling you about whether or not your partner is worth it, whether or not your partner is valuable. And I've said this before, you know your partner more than anyone, you know your relationship more than anyone. So the person that is actually going to decide whether or not their partner is valuable is you. Getting advice from friends and family is okay. People that know you, people that care about you, people that have your best interest at heart. But when we start to put other people's opinions and judgments above our own, then it becomes confusing and it can become problematic. Because if you are in a relationship with someone, in reality, that respect you, love you, are committed to you, have shown you with their words and their actions that they are there for you. They don't care about anything or anyone else. And you disregard that because they've had a past. Again, it's just a shame to end the relationship over that because your partner in the present now is a great partner. You're not settling for less if you are in a relationship with someone that cares about you and loves you and wants to be with you and is committed to you. That is a great thing to have in your life. That is not settling for less. It's all in our minds a lot of the time. It's all in what society has taught us. Oh, well, you've done that, so you're worth less. It's a brutal, unforgiving, sad way to be and to think because inevitably, if you have this ideology and you have these feelings towards other people and for other people, that perfectionism and that judgment is going to be projected onto yourself in some way, shape or form. And it's good to strive for great things, but trying to be perfect and expecting others to be is not going to bring you happiness and it's not realistic. So guys, again, just to recap, I think it's good to listen to different things online from different communities, take what resonates, leave what does not, trust your own judgment, know that if you are with someone that is a great partner for you today, even though people in the past may not have appreciated them, not wanted to be with them, not seen the value in them, if you guys click and you guys have a great relationship, then that doesn't have to matter. It doesn't have to matter. You can make it matter, but it doesn't have to matter. You're not settling for less 
if the person that you are with today is respectful, kind and loving and committed to you. All these ideologies, all these beliefs and values can be very black and white and very confusing and very hard to come back from. So trust your own judgment and remember, even if you go out there and find someone with no past, it's not going to mean that you're going to have what you have today. And if you're okay with that, then that's, you know, that's fine. But I just wanted to make this video to bring up different points to hopefully make you think about it and come to your own conclusion in your own time. So again, let me know what you think down in the comment section below and I will see you next time. Take care.